This is an example of switching a linear equation from standard form into slope intercept form. Standard form is always ax plus by equals c. And to get it into slope intercept form, you need to get it into y equals mx plus b. So you have to get y by itself. So what you're going to do is you always want to circle your y of what you're trying to get by itself. Now what's in its way is that you want to subtract 2x on both sides. So you bring down the y equals, now it's 5 minus 2x. And if you notice, we want to get into mx, mx plus b, so we want to put the negative 2x plus 5. You cannot combine these together because they're not like terms. So this would be your final answer, y equals negative 2x plus 5. To identify your slope, it's always your m value. So you have negative 2 is your slope. And the y-intercept is always written as 0, comma, that number, which in this case it's 5. For this one, we always want to circle y and get it by itself. So to get y by itself, we first want to move our x. So notice it's a positive 4x, so we subtract 4x on both sides. So we get negative 2y equals negative 4x plus 6. Because you can't combine the 6 and the negative 4x because they're not like terms. To get y by itself, still you want to divide both sides divide both sides by negative 2 and because these are different terms you want to divide each by negative 2 so you have 4x divided by negative 2 or negative 4x divided by negative 2 and 6 divided by negative 2 so I get um, a positive 2x minus 3 so my slope is going to be 2 so my m value my b value or my y-intercept is going to be 0 negative 3 now, when graphing a linear equation in standard form, you always want to first get y by itself. So we have um, negative 2x plus 3y equals negative 6. Because this is a negative 2 and we want to get y by itself, we're going to add 2x on both sides. So we're going to be left with 3y equals 2x minus 6. We want to get y by itself, so we're going to divide both sides by 3. And what I mean by both sides is we're going to divide each term. So we have 2 divided by 3, which is going to give us the y equals 2 thirds x, and then a negative, three, negative 6 divided by 3, which is going to give us a negative 2. To identify our slope, we're going to notice that it has to be in y equals mx plus b, which it is. So my m value of my slope is going to be 2 over 3. My b value is going to be 0, negative 2. Now with slope, you always want to graph going up or down first, and then moving to the left or right. So in this case, we're going to go up or down 2, and then to the left or right 3. Now we want our, our graph to face a positive direction, so that's why I drew slope guy up here. So I, I plot my first point at 0, negative 2. You always plot the y-intercept first. I'm going to go up 2 is a positive 2, and to the right 3, which is a positive 3, so I still get 2 thirds. I also could go down 2 and go to the left 3 because that's a negative and a negative gives me a positive. So that would be my final graph. The last example that I have, I want to get um, it into y equals mx plus b. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to get y by itself. So I want to add 1 half x to both sides because this is a negative. So I want to add 1 half x. I can't combine these together, so I get negative y equals 1 half x plus 6. Then what I'm going to do is I want to get, this is not by itself, so it's really saying it's a negative 1y, so I'm going to divide all of the terms by negative 1. So I'm going to get, this is going to cancel, so I just get left with y. I have 1 half divided by negative 1, which is going to give me a negative 1 half, and then I have a positive 6 divided by a negative 1, which should give me negative 6. My slope is going to be negative 1 half, my m value. My b value is going to be 0, negative 3. So what happens is, is that I plot my first point at 0, negative 6. Um, I can either go down 1 into the right 2, because that would be down, that would be a negative, and a positive 2, which would still give me a negative. Or I could go up, so I go up 1, which is positive, to the left 2, which is negative, up 1 to the left 2, up 1 into the left 2. I notice that my slope is negative and it's facing a ne negative direction, so I am correct.